Hi guys, welcome to this session on Google Forms. So on the screen I've got the Forms element of Google and I got that from the little section here. You just scroll down and you find Forms, which is near down the bottom of mine. There we go. And then this comes up with some preloaded form templates that you can use, just already set up. Or you can create your own form. So I'm going to create my own blank form. So I'll just click on that one and it'll generate an untitled form. I'll just call this, this form is going to be called course requirements. That's the title and you can give it a description if you want. Um, select course type. You don't have to fill all these in if you don't want to. And then you've got the first part of this form is a question. And I'm just going to put in there select course. And now I need to give it some options. So option one, I'm going to have it as Excel. And then you just keep adding options. Option two is going to be Word. Option three can be Access. And you just keep going on, filling it down like this. I'll just do one more PowerPoint as an option. So you've got an Add Other. I will put Add Other, actually, because some people might want some random courses there. So this is like a multi-choice question. Now, at the bottom, you've got um, required or not required. Now, you're ticking this if you want people to fill it in and they must fill it in. So I am going to tick that, required. Then you've got these other options. So I've just added a, another question. And then you've got multiple choice, check boxes, drop down. So let's have a go at drop down. I'll click a drop down option and I'm just going to what level do you what level of course like intro intermediate etc so options would be intro intermediate and advanced those are the three options I suppose I could have customized but that doesn't matter for this so I'm just going down like that that's that question done what level and then I'm just add another one and then you can do date a date option um, you've got date selected there look so that's what i want just gives you a date breakdown and i do need this required actually i should have gone on to that one and done required as well so if this form is in is asking for courses you do need to have these things set to required now what will happen with this is when i send this send this to whoever wants the form i will get a response and response will come here and you'll see the results of the response now you can link it to a sheet and the sheet will automatically get populated. So I'm going to do that, create a new sheet and I'll just call it courses, courses, and then that will create the sheet and it'll just generate a sheet with the titles like so. And then whatever responses you get, will just populate this automatically, which is quite cool. Just go back to the form and let's have a quick look at settings. So these are diff different settings you can set. Manage how responses are collected. Let's have a drop down there. Collect email addresses. That's always a good one. Um, send responses a copy of their response. Yep, let's do that. Always. Let's put that to always. And then you can just fill this in and select whatever option you want. Um, so that's that's all I want to do on this one. Presentation. I'm okay with that. Defaults. Question defaults. Okay. Back to questions, let's have a look down here. So at the moment we've got three questions and it's all within one section. You can add a section if you wish from here, this add section, and that just gives you like part two. Um, let's have a look at this course. I'll call this course history. So what I want to know now is a bit of um, history. What level are you, for example? Okay, I need to add a question, so I'm just going to click on that plus, and then you've got, again, the same sort of options here. So is it a, a, do you want a short answer? Do you want a drop-down option? Whatever you want to select, you can pick here. So I'm just going to let them have multiple choice, and then, again, you've got the um, different options. Select option, for example. So option one is going to be beginner. Um, option two, um, never used. Option three, 
I'll go for user and then you can fill that in you get the idea and I will put that as required as well now what I've done there is accidentally drop this in front of the date which I want to move so I'm just going to drag this up the screen into the other section so into this section dropped it too short need to move it into the next section I'll just put it there for a minute and then um, so I've got yeah that'll do date when I want it that's okay so date and courses level and then course history so that that will do I probably should put something um, more than just date date required and probably I should have this as a multiple choice as well really because people don't usually just pick one date but that'll do for now I'm ready to send this to whoever's requested this you've also before I do that you've got all these sort of things there you can add a video add image and just text and import questions etc etc as well as all the other ones that you've got in there but I'm going to send this to myself so I'll just put my own email in there so Steve that it's, it's easy um, not that one dot co dot uk and include the form in the email and then you can put all this sort of stuff in you've got attachments links and stuff like that I'm just going to send this though straight off and then what I'll do is I'll open in the email and show you how the form looks so I've sent that so the responses remember will come up here and the spreadsheet which I've got open there will also get populated so what I need to do now is go into my email so I'll just go into my email and just refresh that there it is so I'll click on that just open this email and I'll just download pictures fill in form so you get like a little preview of the form there but you really want to go into Google Forms to fill it in so I'll click on that and it will open up the form so it's got the your email address there so I'll just put that date required um, want this today well maybe not today the second say and then I want a word course what level choose a level intro then I've got next and then I'm um, a beginner and then I'm going to submit it so I've submitted the form so what happens now if I go into Google Sheets that information automatically gets populated into Sheets which is brilliant and then back to the form I've now got a one next to responses click on that and then that response from myself is automatically displayed below and you can see there's only one response so this graph will change obviously as more people fill that form in but you'd have to send that to more people so this is just a very short video of how to use Google Forms I haven't named the form I will name the form there we go just picked it up now because I clicked in there it's just picked that title up so it's just a very quick video of how to use Google Forms the fact that it automatically populates into Google Sheets is a very great good feature and the fact you've got responses and you know what people have said is also great. So hopefully this video has been of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.